Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome you all to learn Chinese language with Chinese language made easy. I am Muhammad Shahid and today I will discuss the basic rules of writing a Chinese character. Before this video lecture, I have recorded two other lectures on the same topic in which I discussed three rules of writing a Chinese character. Today we will discuss rule number rule number four and five. So this is going to be our today's topic. So what does rule number four tells us? Rule number four tells us that if you write a Chinese character, you have to keep this in mind, this order. So what does it mean? Zong zuo dao yo Zong zuo dao yo Zong zuo dao yo So I will tell you what does it mean basically. So Zong means from from Dao means to from and to so you understood that what are we going to talk about? Zuo means left, left side, okay? And Yo means right. So now you understood that if you write a Chinese character, you have to keep this in mind that you have to uh, write the Chinese character from left to right, okay? This order should be maintained. The Chinese character should be written from left to right. So let's just discuss some examples. One example could be Hu, Hu, Hu. Hu means lack. Okay, lack. Who? Now you see that what was the order we maintained in writing this character? We just wrote this letter from left to right. The direction is like this. You cannot write this character by starting this first and this second and this third. No. You will write, you will start to write the Chinese character in this direction from left to right. Okay, let's just discuss another example. Another example is, let's just discuss simple example. Okay. So this is Ta Ta this is a character which is used for saying he, he, okay. Ta, ta. Another example could be. Ba, ba, ba means it is a uh, particle used at the end of a sentence means to suggest something. To suggest something. So we use this particle ba with neutral tone, no tone. So this is about the rule number fourth. Now, I hope that you would have learned this very well, that we should write a Chinese character from left to right. Now let's discuss a rule number. Rule number five. Okay. 
we will discuss rule number five. So, what does rule number five tells us? It says to us that CN Y Ho Li in some books they have written Ne Li and Ne in some books. In the book of HSK1 they have written it Ne Ne. So I will tell you what does it mean. Xian means first and Y means outside. Hao means later. Li means inside. Li, li or Ne means inside. So now you understood that if you write a Chinese character maintain this order by writing the outside portion first and the inside portion uh, later. Okay, write the outside of the character first and then write the inside of the uh, character later. Okay, inside Li Ne Li Ne. So, what could be the examples for us? First example could be. You see? One. One. One means to ask question. A question. Can I ask you a question? So, one. One. One, you see? First we wrote the dot, it is also following another rule, I will tell you about that, but for now, this portion is outside and this portion is inside. So we just completed this portion first, like we wrote the, the D and first, then we write the, wrote the Shu, and then we wrote this Heng Zhi Gao, Heng Zhi Gao, so a uh, stroke, and then we completed the inner side of the uh, character. So another example could be to use to use something. So it is yong yong yong. So we have discussed two rules today and the first rule was, I mean the fourth rule was telling, uh, it was telling us about that you should write a Chinese character from left to right and in this rule tells us that you should write a Chinese character the outer portion first and then you should write the inner portion later. So this is about that. I hope that it was uh, a very helpful lecture on the writing of these uh, uh, strokes. So let us keep in touch in another lecture and uh, see you. Goodbye.